Okay, class. Today I want to talk a little bit on the compilation and the execution of the program. Last session, I was just introducing to you programming language, the compiler, and the interpreter. Now, compilation and execution of the program in the next session I'm going to explain to you. When you write a program, because the program is written in a specific programming language, and as I said last time that any language has its own syntax and uh, semantics. Now, when you write a program, there is a possibility of having some error. And the, the error may come from either syntax or the error can be semantics. When I say this is the syntax error, I mean this error is the error due to the combination of the word. The combination of the word. And when I say this is the semantics error, I mean this error is due to the meaning itself. The meaning itself. Now, when you write a program, you need to check for both syntax error and the semantics error, or what we call the syntax correctness and the semantics correctness, because a program can be either syntactically right, syntactically correct, or can be either semantically correct or semantically wrong. Now, when you write a program, the first issue you are supposed to do is to compile the program, to compile the program, to compile the program, to compile the program. And the compilation means or is a process of compiling the, the program. The aim of compilation is to check for any syntax error. The aim of compilation is to check for syntax error. So when you compile a program and there is a syntax error, now the compiler will return those error showing you that this program has an error in a specific line of code. If you compile a program and you find that there is a syntax error, now what you need to do is to go back to your program and try to rectify those error and then compile it again until when it gives you the message that the program compiled, compiled, successively. If the compiler gives you the message that the program compiled successfully, this means that now in your program there is no syntax error. But a program which doesn't contain any syntax error does not mean that it now works as it's supposed to work or it gives the right answer, or the intended solution you expected to get. So after compiling it, now you want to go further and try to see, is my program semantically right? Means, is it giving what I was supposed to get, or what I intended to get? Now this is what we call the execution. Now execution, is a process of compiling the program, executing the program, to check whether there is a semantics error, to check whether it brings the answer or the output what you intended to get. Now, if the program compiled successfully, 
and executed successively, which means that it gives you the answer or the output you expected to get. Now we say that your program is right. And if your program is compiled successively, means there is no any syntax error, but during execution, during checking the semantics, the meaning of that program, if it gives you the intended output, it gives you the output you didn't expect. Now it means that your program has the semantics error, means it is not correct program. Yes, the program can be syntactically right, but semantically wrong. So that is why when you are writing a program, it is very important to do both compilation and execution. And always you're supposed to start by compilation to check whether there is a syntax error. Because if there is a syntax error, there is no way out you can go to check for the semantics, the meaning. So the first issue when you write a program, what you need to do is to check whether the program is syntactically right by compiling the program. So you compile the program for the purpose of checking the syntactically, if the program is syntactically right or the program is syntactically wrong. But most of the students now, when they write a program, then they compile and they get that the, the program is syntactically right. They always become happy that now they get a right program. No. You may be having a program which is syntactically right, but semantically that program is not right, which means that it doesn't give you the intended outcome or output. For example, for example, I was just writing, oh, I'm just writing a program for adding two numbers, x and y, which you get z now. So that was my program that I need to add two numbers. I need to put the first number and I put another number, the second number. Then when I add them, it gives me Z, which is the summation of that two number. Well, after writing this program, when I compile, when I compile this program, it may give me that the program compiled successively. Compiled successively. Which means that now, there is no any syntactical error. But when I try to run the program, to execute the program, when I try to execute the program, I may get that, okay, now I click execution, then for the first number, I enter three, for the second number, I enter four, and here, my expected output is supposed to be seven. But now the program may give me 12 as an output. So from this point now, I know that I get an expected output because I expect to get three plus four to be seven, but now it give me that three plus four, it give me 12. Which means that now this is a wrong answer or the wrong output. And this means that now your program is having the problem in semantics. And the semantic, semantic problem is completely logic. You can't get it from the program by seeing whether you have a problem in writing the program or not. Because logically, you have the problem in logic. So here, we say that the program has a semantics error. And the semantic error can be obtained from execution and not compilation. The compilation process cannot see whether the this program gives the intended output or not, the execution process. <coughs> the, the compilation process. Only the execution process yeah, is the one which can give you that this program now gives the intended outcome or not. So for that case, if you find that the answer is, or the output is 12 instead of 7, now what you need to do, or what you need to understand first is that you don't have a problem in the combination of the world. You don't have a problem in the, semantic, in, in the syntax. But now you have the problem in the semantics, or what you call the logic of your, of your program. Now what you're supposed to do is to go back to your program and try to see, logically, where, where is wrong. And you may find that you use the times in your arithmetic equation instead of plus. 
Now you just go there, instead of saying 3 times, let's say 4, to become 12, now you change the mathematical operator from 3 times 4 to 3 plus 4. Now if you compile it again, you'll get it compiled successively. And if you run it again, or if you execute it again, you get that it is executing successively. And then you get 7. Now you find that your program is semantically right and syntactically right. Now, as far as programming is concerned, we have these two words, compilation and execution. And the most of the students, they want, or they used to say, I'm just going to compile my program, means to check whether the program has a syntax error. And now the word execution, the word execution can be used interchangeably with the word run. In most cases, we use the word run. That I compile a program, and then I execute the program, or I run the program. So running the program, executing the, prog the program, you mean the same things. So the way the execution and the running can be used also interchangeably. Most of the students, they always opt to use the way they run instead of the way the execution. Now you say that when you write your program, the first process you must compile. At every point you write a program, you must compile it. And if you find that it is compiled successively, now you go to run it to see the intended output, whether it's right or wrong. Then after running it now, if the program is right now, we say that now you have written a, a, a correct program. So that is what we call compilation and, 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 and the running. And for the case of the interpreter and the, and the, compilation, and the compiler, we say that the compilation process, the compilation process is done by compiler. It's done by a compiler. While the execution process, execution process, or running of the program, or running of the program is done by the interpreter. Now from here you can differentiate you can differentiate between the interpreter and the compiler because the in, the compiler will always end up with the compilation checking the syntax doesn't go to the interpretation for the meaning but the interpreter will do both will check for the syntax and they'll check for the semantics for the meaning so that is what we call compilation and execution thank you